Hi, I'm Janice Durkee. I'm a painter in Orlando, Florida, and welcome to my studio. I am working on a project and I need your help. I am hoping to paint at least 100 portraits of people who have been lost to COVID over the last year and a half. And in order to do that, I need submissions. I need people to send in their loved ones information and photographs and tell me a little bit about them and what they meant to you and and then I'll paint them. Now how it will work is that you submit the information, I respond back to you and let you know what the project looks like, I'll paint the person. Everybody's going to be on just an 8x10 um, board in acrylic and I am going to be showing these at a, once I get all of 100 done, either here in Orlando or definitely online, um, so everyone can see the folks who have passed. And, um, and then I'm going to put together, together a book. After the show is done, I'm not sure when that will be yet, then I am going to send this painting to the person, or paintings as it have, uh, to the person who submitted that information to me. I'm hoping to do that at no cost. And so I'll be asking for sponsorships on down the road. I've actually received uh, a donation to start this process. So I'm in good shape right now, but as I get closer to that 100, I could use some help. So I'm able to make sure that I get that information out to um, everyone and that everyone receives their, their painting. They will, in the meantime, people who submit will get a good high resolution photograph of the work so you can print it for your relatives at no cost. Um, it's, it's just a way to, I only knew to give back, you know? Um, when the first thing first started, I was living in California and I just started drawing on my sidewalk because all of these children were walking by and they weren't, weren't in school anymore and so I was taking requests and drawing my dog and drawing castles and Spider-Man and <laughs> King Kong. <laughs> butterflies and all sorts of things and families would come out in front of my house and sit and have lunch and and one woman said to me this is so healing and she's right art is healing if there's one thing I love almost as much as painting it's a great conversation and conversations always heal I just love the stories of of Ronald and Lillian they passed away within a week of each other and they had been married 62 years and Ronald was just heartbroken as you can imagine he was just heartbroken when I started painting them he came out like that he wanted to be painted so badly and we had this great conversation I'm thinking about Ronald and he looks like he's never met a stranger and Lillian was a little shyer to come out but I didn't leave the studio that night until I finished her because I didn't want Ronald to be alone. Not anymore, you know? And then John, this sweet guy from Kentucky, just a sweet man from Kentucky, loved his family, followed a really strong value system. His family misses him. And Bo Crane, Bo, Bo was a, an amazing, he's in the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame. He was a great coach and his family misses him. And Auntie Marianne, Oh, she had light behind her like you wouldn't believe. And her family misses her. And Brian Fonseca, he, Brian started the Phoenix Theater. His obituary was in the New York Times. The art community in Indianapolis, Indiana misses him, but everyone he touched misses him. He's amazing. And then Ray, Ray Gayton. Ray was actually a, a vet and he was working on the border in Texas, helping immigrants. Can you imagine what he's leaving behind? His family misses him greatly. They miss that smile and his free spirit. I wanna help heal that. And so if you are trusting enough in me, wanna take a risk, it's no charge for you, <laughs> take a risk with me. All the information to sign up for the project is following this video and I hope you do and if you have any inquiries whatsoever please let me know I'll walk you through it I'm doing this one painting at a time one painting at a time I'm spending time with your relative your loved one and hoping to help you pay tribute to them during this really 
strange, unfortunate time. We have to shine a light. And I'm hoping you trust me with that. All the information you need is at the end of the video. And I thank you for your time. Thank mm -hmm. you.